if you've come so far. Hello everyone, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I'm feeling a bit pissed off <laughs> and I thought I'm going to give it a go at one of these ranty style videos about something that just pisses me off so much and I need to get it off my chest gives a fuck because I swear these people don't care and I'm I don't have any friends who are as obsessed with makeup as me who you know and I know I haven't shown this on this page like on this channel that well but I do get passionate about this stuff and I am passionate about makeup and I'm passionate about good makeup and I'm passionate about being able to fucking buy that makeup. Oh, I feel, I feel my blood pressure rising. So, when you, I am drinking today. I just, I needed to calm my nerves. But I thought I would share uh, what I'm drinking. As the Belgrove Ginger Hammer. This is a really cool distillery in Tasmania, if you ever go there. Or he does deliver internationally. We're slowly going through this. This shit is strong. Like, so strong. It is 20 cent drinks, uh, 500 mils, 50 cent alcohol. But it's ginger, like a ginger alcohol. It's amazing. It's really nice. I love having ginger coke. So that's what we're drinking today. Just need to take a quick chew bill. So I've just been to Sephora Chermside, which is my local Sephora. And I go there a lot. I was a bit excited because the other day I saw that I've made it to Sephora Gold uh, which is like the highest tier that there is and I've been like secretly wanting to get there but also not wanting to spend the money to get there but I actually I just I managed to uh, if you've seen my hauls you kind of see how I managed to realistically it was gonna happen uh, now apparently I'm privy to monthly makeovers and stuff like that, which I'm excited about. But I'm also privy to the welcome gift, which is actually the whole fucking reason I went to Sephora Chermside today. And I bought this beautiful lipstick. I do love this. And that's what I'm wearing right now. And I bought this stupid case for it because I keep seeing the fucking ads for it and advertising fucking works on me. <laughs> so... I initially was just going to go buy the Tarte paint, pro paint Pot in the colour Frosé, which is a pink gold duochrome cream shadow. Uh, of course, they don't have it in fucking stock. The Fenty Stunning Lips have just come out. Of course, they don't have the two new fucking colours in stock. And when you ask them, they just go check the website. I'm sorry, but the website is not in Brisbane. They fucking post out of Melbourne or some shit and they're a different fucking company to you. They are not the same thing. You guys stock completely different shit. They have that fucking brand Marinus on the website. You never stock that in a fucking like store because it's shit. I'm sorry. I'm so fine. And look, the staff there are absolutely lovely. They really do help you and they go out like most of the time they will try to help you very well. When you are someone like me who pays way too much attention to makeup marketing, what's coming out and the products that are available or should be available to me, it really frustrates me when I can't get those products easily. I don't want to order from the website. That's why I'm in the store. If I wanted to order from the fucking website, I would have ordered from the fucking website. I do value local jobs. I do value supporting companies that are trying to fucking like sustain themselves and actually going to a store and buying from someone isn't that better than going to your fucking website and why do you always tell me to go to your fucking website and why do you never know when the stock's coming in like why and i know this completely is not the staff's fault at all but they're always so fucking vague with when a product will be in store for example, the Stunner Lips. And I did see on Treadmoon that they're only like available online. So I didn't expect them to be in store. And then when I sort of just asked 
briefly I was like oh yeah and so he hasn't have the new stunner lips in and I'm always like, part of me thinks that they don't know that there's new Fenty products and another part of me thinks that whoever organizes their stock deliveries never tells them when shit's gonna fucking come in and isn't that important like isn't that important like to be able to tell someone this will definitely be in stock by this date isn't that something that as a business you should do i would never accept it from like this vague responses that they give you and you know that they've been told to say that like the staff are lovely it's not their fault but they just never seem to know when anything's coming in store they don't know when anything will be in stock rarely do they actually know when the new releases are here and they always tell you if you can't get it in store to buy it online seriously mecca is able to keep their shit together they're able to get new fucking releases out on time they're able to know when shit's going to be on store. They always have fucking foundation sample pots and they're not fucking stingebos with it. They make you feel shit for even asking. <sighs> Sorry, I got a foundation sample from Sephora. Should you? <sighs> Just need a moment. I don't understand. <sighs> And what really essentially upset me was that finally I'm Sephora Gold and that means you get a welcome gift. And I went in and bought this stupid lipstick because I was like, I finally made it. I'm Sephora Gold. Stupidly excited. And then I get to the front counter and then go through the whole purchasing process and then I, I'm sure I said something about the welcome gift and then I asked her clearly, I looked in the bag and was like, oh, like what about the welcome gift? And then I feel like an entitled consumer because it is like it's a privilege that Sephora is willing to give you a welcome gift to moving up levels because you spent fucking money. That's a privilege. But when they are like, when they hold it back from you and you have to ask clearly for a response, I really struggle to think that that's good customer service. And when I did ask, of course, you wanna know what? They don't have them in fucking stock. And she acted surprised that I didn't have it yet. Who the fuck tells me I've gotten up Sephora Gold? I just saw it on the fucking app. You didn't send me no fucking email. I'm sorry. Like, they acted surprised that I didn't have the fucking gift. How would I have had the gift? You don't even have it in stock. Where the fuck was I meant to get it from? Where? And then, of course... The response is, it will be in stock, hopefully next week or the next. Just come back in. Are you kidding me? Are you actually fucking kidding me? Why can't you tell me the exact fucking date? Why can't you take my email down and email it to me? Like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Just keep coming back in. And look, my problem that runs with Sephora is that their products predominantly are fucking boring. Of the brands that Sephora Australia stock, the best ones are Tarte, Huda Beauty, God, who was I looking at today? Kat Von D, Fenty, and Natasha Denona, which, like, it looks like they're phasing Natasha Denona out because that whole stand's fucking empty. And it's been empty for like six months. I'm sure it's not probably, but it's definitely been empty for at least a fucking month. And of those brands, Huda Beauty is the only one that has colorful fucking eyeshadows. But of course you only have the Smoky Obsessions palette and I think the Coral Obsessions in stock at the moment. You've got that stupid $95 
rose gold remastered bullshit. Then I don't think anyone should ever spend that much money on a palette that someone fucking like they made it. They got you all excited, you fucking bought it, and then a year later they went, oh the formula's shit, so we're reformulating it. Like are you kidding me? Like no one should ever buy that palette. Ever. And of course there's other brands there, like they've got Lancome, Galan, Gavinci, Da Vinci, uh, Makeup Forever, or Marc Jacobs, and stuff. And like, realistically, a lot of these brands are run more on the luxury side and they're not mid-range pricing. So it's hard to get excited to go into Sephora a lot. Because number one, I know they're not going to have the fucking stock of the product that I want. They probably, w the staff won't know what the new releases are and they won't know when they're getting their new releases in. And they don't know when products are getting restocked. And to me, those are things that are important in my shopping experience. And I feel like I deserve access to that knowledge of when I can come in and get something. And please don't take this as an attack on the staff. They are, the staff are fantastic. It's, it, I don't see how this problem can actually come from the staff because the staff can only tell you what they're told to tell you and they can only tell you the information that they're given. And I think that they need to be given more information. They need to be told when shit's getting stocked. Like this shit must be getting air freighted over. You've spent how much? like freighting a huge amount of ma makeup to Australia and you can't even track it and look and I know customs holds up a lot of the makeup but you know even if they could say like even if they were able to know where it was like oh it's in this or we've ordered it it's coming At this date we expect it it's held up in customs uh, we definitely will restock it. Like, why the fuck do you have the Marc Jacobs bronzer still on display when it says clearly sold out and it was limited edition? So you're never going to fucking restock that. I know that. So I'm sorry. And to be honest, I thought I would just try something a little bit different and share my makeup frustration with you. Oh, I'm sorry. I do love Sephora. I do really like them. I just wish that they were more open with when their releases were coming out, when they were getting stock, what the hold up with it is, that if they're not restocking something, they would tell you. Uh, that when something is discontinued, they remove it from the samples. And be that's for, that's a personal thing, they're removing it from, like, because I look at that Marc Jacobs bronzer and a part of me wants it. But I know that Marc Jacobs is already advertising the Christmas bronzer. And I know that you haven't restocked that one in a long time. And I know that the white packaging is limited edition, it's, it's not coming back. It just really frustrates me. And I hope that it was like entertaining on some level. I don't know. I'll watch this. I might not upload this. I don't even know how I feel about it all. If you watch this, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.